it seems recently like a lot of people are really leaning towards the idea that the final unlock stretch goal will be General Hawk. And I am not really so convinced of that. Now, I mentioned this in my last video, but I haven't seen anybody else really mentioning this in the context of this who's going to be the next unlocked character discussion. The main reason I don't think it will be General Hawk is because it doesn't necessarily work narratively in this campaign because it is General Hawk who is asking for the new recruits. Cobra Commander is one tough cookie and Cobra forces will follow him to the gates of oblivion. So we'll need to expand the ranks of the G.I. Joe team to combat that threat. If Operation Dragonfly reaches 13,000 backer orders before the end of the campaign on July 17th, you'll unlock a classified series Night Force Ripcord action figure. Expect two additional top secret unlocked tiers to follow with more new recruits to the Joe team. Essentially, General Hawk is the character or the narrator of this story. And he is saying in this campaign that, yeah, we want a new helicopter or a new piece of equipment to battle Cobra. But we also need some new recruits to join the team as part of this uh, campaign, whatever. If he's the one asking for the new recruits, then... He shouldn't be one of the new recruits, right? Each one of these unlocked tiers, Ripcord, now Glenda, and whoever is next, is to be a new recruit to the team. Meaning, it can't be Hawk because he's the one running this show. And it also shouldn't be anyone who's already part of the line. There should be a new character in the line. Three new characters, well, four counting Wild Bill new characters in the line, assuming each tier is unlocked. So that's just some food for thought. If it does turn out to be Hawk and they do make it work narratively, I'm happy for it. I'm all good with Hawk being <laughs> in my collection. Now, we know that Hawk will be coming out as a regular release, unless he's an exclusive or something, but he's coming out in the line. So if there is also a Hawk as part of the HasLab, that's great. I don't mind having two versions of Hawk. I just don't think that Hawk is the character in this. And it looks like a lot of people are really just taking this idea that it's Hawk as a given at this point. Now, maybe I'm looking too deep into it, but I wouldn't want folks to get the idea. Oh, it's Hawk. It's Hawk. It's Hawk. We've been saying it's Hawk for two weeks now. And then when the character is revealed and it's not hawk we have a bunch of people who are now pissed because it turned out to be something different and they now had their sights set or their hopes or whatever locked in for this particular character and it wasn't never meant to be anyway and it turns out that it's just a bunch of online talk that got spun up so i'm just saying if it's hawk great if it's not hawk we shouldn't be disappointed if it turns out to be somebody else Okay, that's it. Um, if this makes any sense to you, feel free to spread the word. <laughs> uh, anyway, until next time, see ya.